How do you encourage your spouse to be more romantic, more, more romantic i.e. go out, etc.? So I, there are many ways. From the ways is maybe you need to initiate the process. You plan a dinner date. You plan a vacation. You plan a place where you guys take a walk in the park. You plan something nice. And you tell them about it and you set it up. If your husband's a bit slow, a bit thick headed, a bit dense, a bit stubborn, do it again. Do it a third time. And make sure that when you guys go out, you express to him how happy you are, how lovely it is, how nice it is in this park, in this restaurant. And perhaps he'll catch on. Perhaps he'll get the idea. If that doesn't work, or if you don't want to initiate the romance and the whining and the dining, then tell him, honey, let's go out. When's the last time we went out? Let's go to your favorite restaurant. Let's go here. When's the last time we went to the, to the boardwalk, to the beach? Whatever the case may be. Talk to him and tell him how important it is not complaining, not stipulating, but just telling him how much you want it, how nice it is. And perhaps he'll listen, bigger than that. If he does not listen, step number three is you tell him straight up, you know, honey, I'm really frustrated. We don't go out. We don't spend no time. It's just work. It's the kids. We never have no time to ourselves. You know, we never have no pampering. Show all you can be going. Talk to him and be straight up. If that doesn't work, then talk to somebody that can speak to him. His mother, his father, the brother that he respects, his teacher. Or ask a question in the class. Yes, yeah, Sheikh. What's the ruling of a man who never has any romance with his wife? What's the ruling of a brother who never takes his wife out to a candlelight dinner? Maybe you have to expose him. I'll tell you a brief story once. I was in Brooklyn, down the street from Mashantuckwa. I had a check. And uh, me and a brother, we went to go cash the check at Chase Bank. So in this bank, I saw one of my students. This is before Hadith Disciple Error. The disciple, but before the Disciple Error. He was a student. He was a young brother. He was from Bangladesh. Nice brother. He would come in the masjid. He was sharp. He would always speak. He would always run to me. He would always sit in the classes. I want to go overseas here, Sheikh. I want to go to South Africa. I want, I want, I want to write me in Tezkia. He was a beautiful, brilliant young brother. So I saw him in the bank. And I saw some of his little brothers. And then I saw his own me that I never met before. So I gave him a shake, gave him a hug. Okay, for how, how you doing? How you little brothers? Assalamu alaikum. This is Sheikh Mufti. Alhamdulillah, this is what she said. So I wanted to go, you know, finish cashing my check. She said, yes, Sheikh, yes, Sheikh. I said, nah. She says, please tell my son about the impermissibility of disrespecting his mother. And someone who studies hadith, learns in the masjid, talks Arabic, and he's horrible to his mother. And she did it just like that in front of him, and she embarrassed him. But no doubt, he got the message. He got the message. So perhaps, I'm not saying this is the best idea, but perhaps sometimes you walk to the masjid, you walk by, Sheikh Mufti, please tell me about a man who never treats his wife. You may have to sometimes, reality. It's a bit of reality of life. Wallahu alam.